Hello, welcome again to another episode on Chris O. If you are visiting for the first time, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching my video. If you are a returning viewer, oh, thank you very much. Welcome again. Nice to see you. And if you have not already subscribed to this YouTube channel, please make sure to subscribe, like the videos, and share it with your friends and acquaintances. I am Chris. For those of you who do not already know, I am a Biagioni scholar and I study philosophy on a fully funded scholarship by the Simon Fraser University. In this YouTube channel, I talk about fully funded scholarships mostly in the humanities and then, of course, in other natural and applied sciences scholarship that you can find in North America, in US and Canada. So if you are looking for scholarship and you are looking to come to North America, this YouTube channel is for you. Stay tuned. So, in today's episode, I'll be sharing with you five schools in the US and Canada that offer fully funded scholarships for masters and PhD in computer science. So, if you're interested in engineering, so software engineering, doing research in computer science, operations engineering, or whatever, yeah, whatever kind of computer area you are interested in, well, today is your day and I will be sharing these five schools that offer fully funded scholarships for their MSc and PhD in computer science. So what are the schools that we'll be discussing today? The first on our list is Dalhousie University in Canada. The second school on our list is University of Alberta. The third school on our list is the University of Toronto. The first school on our list is the Princeton University in the US. And then the first school on our, on our list is the University of British Columbia in Canada. These five schools offer fully funded scholarships in computer science. Whether it is for your master's in computer science or your PhD in computer science, it is fully funded. So we will go discuss in detail what it would require to apply for this program or, and what their funding is like. So we'll start with the first school without further ado. So with the Dalhousie University, their master's student, their funding is not really like, um, it's not as guaranteed as their PhD program. So your, your, the funding of your master's depends on how you are able to find a supervisor. So I would advise, although I did not say anywhere in this program that you are required to get a supervisor. However, I would advise you to secure a supervisor beforehand. So for the, com for the master's in computer science, this, they are saying that you would need to, if you're able to assign to a professor, then you will, you will be able to get their funding. And their funding is the, is your tuition and fees. That means they will pay your tuition and fees and then give you another uh, additional um, 8,000 to 12,000 Canadian dollar per year for their master's student in living stipend. So this money covers your living expenses. Then for their PhD, they pay your tuition and fees and then give you additional 18,000 Canadian dollars as living expenses for one year. So they do that for four years of your PhD and two years of your master's by research. And this program, their specialty includes things like human computer interaction, visualization and graphics, software engineering, and systems networks and security, etc. etc. So if you're interested in any one of these areas in computer science, then this school is for you. Now what do you need to apply to this school? Well, to apply to this school, like I said, reach out to people, potential people you think might be doing things that you are interested in. Reach out to them. See if they can approve you to be their uh, supervisee. And you, of course, fill the online form. Submit two letters of academic references, two reference letters. You will need um, they call something they call CS computer science background worksheet. They want to know perhaps they want to know what you have done so far, especially for those doing the master's program. Then they will need your statement of intent, which is like your statement of purpose or something like that. Then they will need your CV, 
they will need English test if you did not study with English language for your bachelor's degree. And then if you are applying for their PhD, they will need evidence of research experience. They want to see that you're able to publish. They want to see your published works. So that is that for the University of Dalhousie at in Canada. So, so the second school on our list is the University of Alberta. Their Department of Computer Science, Computing Science, offers twenty-five thousand one hundred and ninety-seven Canadian dollars for a full-time master student and twenty-six thousand six hundred and seventy-three thousand Canadian dollars for a full-time PhD student. Now this is their base funding. There are other kinds of funding that you can apply should you decide to apply to this school. You have the Venia scholarship that applies to all PhD students in Canada. You can be nominated for, the, you have the Killam, Killam and Andre Stewart General Awards. You would apply for this one separately while you are applying for your you know where you're applying to submit where you are trying to submit your application you get a form separately for this one and the the scholarship is valued at kilam uh, is valued at thirty five thousand per year plus andrew stewart five thousand that is a total of forty thousand per year and it is open to both canadian and international students then you have the Alberta Innovatives, Alberta Innovatives Graduate Student Scholarship, which is valued at $26,500 for master's student and $31,500 per year for PhD students. It is also open for international and both Canadian and international students. So there are other kinds of scholarships and funding you can apply to should you decide to apply to this school and they have lots of funding so what would you need to apply to this school well to apply to this school you will need a transcript or a mark sheet something they call a mark sheet if you read their website you see what they what they um what they call mark sheet but it's basically your something that looks like your um, transcript something that contains your academic your your grades and the courses you have offered now they have of course your certificate you submit your curriculum vitae your cv letters of references statement of purpose or abst and abstract so you submit a statement of purpose and then together with this statement of purpose you submit an abstract of your research in graduate school it's like a mini research proposal now in this school you have to secure a supervisor you have to reach out identify and reach out to three professors or two professors who are who you think and you want them to supervise you because they are doing something similar to what you are doing now the application fee for this school is 135 canadian dollars and um, yeah that is that for the university of alberta so we are down to the first school on our list which is the university of toronto in canada this school have different funding for different streams into their masters and their phd program so for their masters they have a masters that lasts for 17 months and another that lasts for 43 months and then there's another masters that lasts there's the phd which is um the direct entry phd and then the PhD with um, master's completed as well. So that one, they will fund you for 14 months and then the one direct entry, they will fund you for 16 months. Now, what does it actually, um, how does this materialize into funding? Well, for the master's you will do for 17 months, they will give you, you'll be awarded 52,160 Canadian dollars for the 17 for the duration which is 17 months so for the phd that you do not have uh which masters already completed you receive 63,864 canadian dollars for international students and then for direct phd you know you have 41,174 canadian dollars so well the it is suffice it suffices to say that this program is 
well funded and then they have other kinds of funding that you know as usual you qualify for and their tuition is very cheap it's eight thousand approximately slightly above eight thousand canadian dollars so like eight thousand two hundred and thirteen dollars you know so that is the range of tuition so it is take take it away take this amount from fifty two thousand one hundred and sixty. you see so it's it's at least it's modest right it is modest now what do you need to apply to this program to apply to this program you will need your research interests you need a statement of research interest which areas in computer science are you interested in you need to submit your statement of purpose you need to submit your cv you need to submit your transcripts and you need to drop names of three people who would be um, writing your letters of recommendation and so that is that for the university of toronto the application portal has already opened since the 2nd of october and it will run until december 1st so if you want to apply to this program you should hasten up the first school on our list is the university of princeton princeton university in the u.s this school although i did i did not see the specific of the specifics of their funding but we are well assured on their page that both masters and phd students are well funded so this is what they are saying on their funding page master student pay no tuition and typically receive a teaching assistantship which comes with a stipend doctoral students pay no tuition and receive a stipend for the standard five-year term of the phd program dependent on successful completion of program milestones that means you should be in in good academic standing all through so that is that and if you want to apply to this school it's typically the same thing segment of purpose and research interest or research interest or research proposal you know letters of recommendation cv transcript and what have you not so that is that for the university of princeton so the last school on our list is the university of british columbia the computer science is housed in their faculty of science right so for their master student they will offer you a total of 57 thousand canadian dollars for two years of the msc thesis option and then they offer you 35 thousand canadian dollars for the 20 months of the msc ac option so they have two streams into their um, to their master's program one you write essay and one you write thesis they differ in duration and in funding so take note of that now for their phd student they offer so their master's program counts into their phd program so it's if you are offering their master's student and you are in, in direct you know track for their phd studies as well so they see it together so for their PhD student, after your coursework, you receive thirty thousand Canadian dollars per year. And if you are doing your coursework, you'll be given a total of fifty-seven thousand Canadian dollars for the seventeen-month duration of your program or the twenty-month duration of your program. So that is that for funding in this school. And to apply to this school, you will need the same thing that. The other schools need and what are those things just to keep reiterating it and rehashing you will need um, your writing sample your segment of purpose or research um, interest and abstract research proposal transcript you don't need to write GRE just submit this basic funding and ba this basic document recommendation letters abstract or research um proposed short mini research research proposal segment of academic interest or segment of purpose or segment of intent whichever they decide to call it so you also submit all the basic document that um the other schools have literally um literally require you know yeah so that is that for the university of british columbia to wrap it up for today, these programs do not require you to write a GMAT or a GRE and these programs do not necessarily, not all of them necessarily require that you have a supervisor beforehand and 
yeah you're not writing jerry or tofu if you study with english language english standardized tests would definitely be waived in these programs and i will be leaving the link the the link to the funding information for these programs in the comment in the comment section below or in the description section below i mean and then i would also be providing link to link that will lead you to apply to each and every one of these programs so if you want to if you are interested in this area if computer science is your thing you know this video is for you so that is what i have today please and please if you did enjoy this episode do leave me a thumbs up if you have not already subscribed please do subscribe share this video with your friends and acquaintances you never know who it might help and i will be grateful as always for you to watch the video and then for you to eventually share it and help to grow the grow the channel so in any case without further ado thank you for coming in today if you have not already subscribed please do subscribe see you next week and i do wish you a lovely weekend Bye bye